hello and welcome to free VBA tips today we are going to see VBA attendance tracker that is created on VBA so let me show you something over here if I want to mark attendance for some student or employees from 1st to 5th of January I can just choose it like this and then mark them present for till Saturday and here is a week off and I click on update and everything got updated so we will see how we can use this tool and how we can register associates and how we can start using it okay so first of all let me just pull some associates and delete them so that there is a clean database let me delete this one So these are the associate so I want to add some uh, students now so let me just add some students sorry so let me I will leave this field as blank the first TV ID because that is automatically generated and I am going to write the student ID which can be anything one two six ID can also say gmail.com and the phone number and then I can click on add so this associate this associate or the student already exists so this is going to be duplicated so I will just remove this one for now because this is just a read only and when we make uh, changes over here or whenever we update anything over here it gets updated in, in the database so I click on add and it's saying that are you sure you are about to add a student I click on ok one record has been updated if I click on view then I'll see two students over here and if I want to make some changes over here I can just uh, make changes jam or it's uh, New Delhi is 77 and I can click on update and two records got updated if I just click on view I'll see the updated address and everything now uh, we have seen how we can add the student or the employee and then we how we can update it then we will see how we can delete a student so right now there are two students and if I want to delete one for I have to leave that a student name over here which needs to be deleted so let me just delete this one from Excel which is not actually deleted from database and I leave Rahul here and click on delete it will prompt me that ID 186 which is a DB ID which uh, is going to be deleted it is a unique ID I click on OK and one record has been deleted if I click on view and see here then this is deleted now I want to add many students over here I can just uh, pay students like this right now we are making changes as read only so there is nothing up getting updated in the database so this is like a front end and just a view only unless we click on a button or something and I leave this one as blank okay so let me rename this one as Tapan Japan Sam Smith Pawan Smriti and I'm going to up add these records so I click on add it is going to say that these records will get added okay 
and this is a new ID which is being generated if I click on view and view these then then these are the IDs which has been generated now if I want to sort them on a particular field I can also sort them on a student name and see them and these are being sorted like this now I see that there are two names with the same uh, name I can just choose that one and click on update and if I just refresh or view them then you'll see that Lohia has been updated okay so if I want to delete something I think I can delete this one the the 215 so let me just make some space and click on delete it is going to delete the existing one which is shown over here and now if I click on view I'll see only one great so let us see the attendance now how it works so we will go we are going to click on view first and it is going to sh show the actual attendance from one first to third of January or the last of January click on this so right now I don't see any attendance over here now it is very tedious task that uh, you go to each date and make a changes or do something like that so we have a great tool in uh, in this uh, particular automation we can set up a planner so what planner is going to do uh, it is going to ask us which days or uh, what are the days when student is going to come to the school and uh, on what date they have a week off or anything like that so I can choose this planner setup and click on edit or view I can choose uh, Monday to Friday is uh, uh, present and then I can choose on Saturday and Sunday is a week off okay similarly I can also uh, mark a week off for a particular student on a particular day for example this particular student uh, Japan has a week off on Thursday or Wednesday and he is present on the particular days that also we can do so let me just update this one for now and seven records has been updated great now uh, we have updated the planner but this is not actually updated in the actual attendance so we will see the planner view right now which is just a view which is not the actual attendance so we will choose first of January to the last of January and we click on uh, edit view now you see that everything is being planned so nicely and for Saturday and Sunday they have marked week off and for rest of the days it is a planned now if I update this one this is going to update to the actual attendance so if I click on update and seven records has been updated now if I see the actual attendance you will uh, see the actual attendance with the one we updated just now so I can just choose this one and see this now this has been updated for example someone was absent on 1st of January or any or maybe on 2nd of January so 1st of January was a holiday so let me just uh, choose these particular range and mark a holiday and then we can choose second is as uh, say uh, Japan was absent so I can just choose this one this range and mark a b and then I click on update great these records has been updated if I just view the actual attendance now from 1st to uh, 4th of January uh, it will show this as holiday and this has been updated in the database so that is how the tool works and um, this is very a uh, simple tool and nothing uh, nothing much in this one and I'll just show you the database how the everything is being connected so this is the actual tool and it connects to the database in the same directory which is a DB and which is has a database everything gets updated over here so whenever uh, we uh, you know make changes uh, on the Excel nothing actually uh, gets updated and when we m click on these buttons the actual uh, changes take place in the database so I hope this tool will help you to uh, make your attendance uh, update for the employee or the students and for any kind of request or comments you can uh, mention in the uh, mention the comments if you have any questions or you can contact me on Fiverr for customizations. Thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead. Bye bye.